Wingy Boxing IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here with Dan Fox, owner of School for Scandal. Dan, um, first of all, the name. Where'd the name come from for the restaurant? Um, it's all about the scandal of love. It's about having fun. It's about heartbreak. It's about love. And people go through that their whole lives. So I guess it's just pointing a finger at it, having some fun. The brass, the concept itself is brasserie, it's all day, every day, it's something for everybody. So um, in terms of the name, in terms of the food, it gives it a little bit of an edge. Uh, and the food is there for all day for everyone, for everyone to enjoy. So today, Feed the Homeless, tell me how this come about, how you got involved in it. Uh, well, MTK and our PR agency, Agency, uh, contacted me and said, would I love to be involved? And absolutely, head over heels, want to help anything we can in terms of one local charities but two local community and obviously in conjunction with the mayor uh, homelessness in Manchester is a big thing at the moment uh, and we see it on, our, on this first street estate um, quite a lot and obviously if we can do something to help to give back especially at this time of the year it's something that we'd love to do and obviously continue to be involved with for the rest of the year also. That's a really good thing to do so um, basically for people who don't know um, any people who are homeless they can come in this morning have a cup of tea, have a nice breakfast. And, yeah, uh, full breakfast, yeah, full and breakfast. also get to meet some of the boxing legends That's it. Uh, of the day. Uh, a lot of the guys are fighting this weekend. Um, you know, so it's great to have the support of those guys, the mayor, the council. Um, you know, just goes to show that this, um, you know, case of homelessness that's going on in Manchester right now is, is key and on, on everyone's lips, really. I was going to ask you that. What, it's not, not so much what's the solution, but I guess how can people help because those watching uh, obviously wouldn't be here now so we, we don't want it just to be Christmas and then everybody forgets. How, how, how can people sort of get involved? At? I think supporting the charity, supporting obviously with Barnabas today who are a great local charity based in the Northern Court here in Manchester and they do an amazing uh, amount of work on behalf of the, the homeless in Manchester. Uh, another guy called Jed who's got um, the School Face um, charity which he's started and building things for so you know, I'm looking to go out with him this year now and committed to him today to actually go out with him when he does his street cuts on the street in terms of haircuts and razors and that kind oh, of stuff. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. To go out and give food at the same time as well. So we're looking to do that. So um, hopefully we'll get that going in 2019. Because it's all sorts of different situations, isn't it, that where, where people end up homeless. It's and, and you know, people have sort of ideas of oh, why is he homeless? Why? But it's all sorts of things that, like, uh, isn't I mean, it? There's such a mix of people here today, um, and it, and to be honest, it, it is, is you know, it, it's heartbreaking to hear the story sometimes, and a lot of it is you know, there's a lot of this general. Uh, the generalisation of people thinking, oh well, he's on drugs, he's on drink, and it's this. Some people do think that. Yeah, they do think that, and it's a it's a horrible um, sort of prejudice, really, because everyone, especially in these times, you know, life isn't easy, business isn't easy at the moment, and um, you know, for anyone to make money, and anyone can end up destitute at any point, and you just never know what's around the corner. So, a lot of these people have had real hard luck stories, um, and it's just so sad to hear and it's just great that we can do something very very small this morning it is small in in the in the whole you know sort of wheel of what's going on but if we can do one little bit and help them that's what we can do and how did you um build school for scandal how, how did this all start uh i'm involved with a company called select property in vita students so they own the building that we're housing here uh and they had this space and wanted me to um develop something new in here so here we are so my background is restaurants so that's restaurants. what i've done oh yeah. okay foodie yeah absolutely you're not fat though they so don't trust that <laughs> don't trust a foodie unless you're fat <laughs> Gym, yeah. And lots of running around, it's Christmas, don't forget. To balance it We're off. We're busy. <laughs> you a fan of boxing? I am, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who'd you like? Well, obviously Tyson's fight a couple of weeks ago was unbelievable. Uh, so I managed to stay awake and did you watch that? Yeah? And, uh, and watched it live, which was unbelievable. So what do you think uh, of that 12 round, that last yeah, round where you got up? How we got up, I do not know. <laughs> it was unbelievable, but he should have won hands down. I was just about to ask you that. You think, yeah? Absolutely, absolutely. What do you think of Anthony Joshua? So I like Anthony Joshua. I think I think he's getting a bit of mixed press at the moment. He's sort of picking his fights and all the rest of it. But oh, controversial! That's a good one. Thank well, you. People say that. People say that. But, just give me something um, juicy. Just what I wanted. <laughs> but he also seems to be an unbelievable fighter. Yeah. So um, you know, as I'm sure a lot of people say, as Tyson said, you know, he let his gloves do the talking and off they go and, and uh, see if he gets in the ring. 
That's it. Well, thanks for giving me your time. And again, if people want to help, you said just go to local charities and... Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the best thing to do. I think people on the street, obviously people give to people who are begging on the street and that kind of stuff. But I think in terms of these charities that look after homeless people who make sure... Because their, their ideal really is to get people off the streets. Yeah. To try and get them back on the straight and narrow and to do something for them. And, then, and they monitor them, they work with them, they, they see them through. Uh, and hopefully into something more permanent and I think that's the key brilliant well Dan thanks for speaking to Wingy Boxing no IFL TV and uh, it's a great thing here. you're doing today brother so yeah. well done thank, thank you, you. cheers